Welcome back to the Brooklyn Brothers. Dominic's at the camera today. Today we're going to make a couple of pizzas. I went over to Jimmy's Deli down on Bryant Street in Dallas and I picked up all the ingredients. I typically just pick up the sauce and the cheeses from his uh, store, but uh, they have this frozen pizza dough that they import from the East Coast and I thought I'd give it a try. So we're going to go ahead and make uh, a New York style pizza today. And we're also going to make a calzone margarita. It's a, kind of like a two-in-one. Anyway, let's get started. All right, we're going to start making our New York-style pizza sauce now. And then we're going to get our ricotta ready for the calzone. Calzone pizza. Calzone pizza. <laughs> calzone hybrid. All right, we have our crushed tomato here. It's imported. Pastosa, I got this from Jimmy's. Peeled crushed tomato. I'm gonna pour that in a bowl. I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I like to use uh, dried basil leaves for pizza sauce. It works out really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a teaspoon of dried basil. And then I've got some fresh garlic that I chopped finely. It's about a teaspoon or one clove. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix that all in. Put the regular one in? No, I'm not putting regular on. Only on top of the pizza. This is going to be for the margarita pizza and for the New York style pizza. All right, that's it. It's very simple, but delicious. We're going to go ahead and let this rest for about 15 minutes. Let that salt dissolve and all the other spices infuse in the tomato. The uh, ricotta mix for the calzone. All I need is about eight ounces of ricotta. This is whole milk ricotta. I got from Jimmy's. It's one of the best. About eight ounces in there. I'm going to go ahead and add about a half a teaspoon of salt, about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and then about a teaspoon of parsley. And that's all there is for the butter mix. That's all right. Here we go. That's it right there. Beautiful. Okay. All right. I, I went ahead and bought a, uh, a bunch of ingredients from Jimmy's Deli in Dallas. And they have this dough imported from uh, the East Coast. And I'm going to give it a shot. I think it's going to work out really well. It rose pretty nice. Looks and, good. Uh, yeah, all right. I mean, so Looks we're going to go ahead and start this with our margarita calzone pizza. I'm going to do is flour the board here a little bit. Grab one of these doughs. I typically flour both sides, but since we're making a calzone pizza, I just want to do one side because I need the top portion to be very sticky when it comes to making the calzone. So I'm just going to leave uh, the top uh, without uh, putting any flour on it. Oh, this is nice dough. Yeah, it looks good. really nice, huh? Okay, I'm going to stretch this out here. Pop that bubble. All right, let's, let's stretch this out. Throw it up in the air. There we go. <laughs> Let's get that Tony. There we go. All right. Now, what I did on this pizza screen, it's pretty easy to use. If, uh, if you don't have a pizza peel or a stone in your oven, this is one of the best mechanisms to make a New York style pizza. And what I did here was I went ahead and made a strip of uh, aluminum foil. So this way, when I fold the dough to make the calzone, uh, and I press on it, it won't go through the screen. Stretch 
push that out to fit the screen. Nice. There we go. Now we're going to start with the calzone first. We're going to put the regotta right about here. Spread that out a little bit. All right, now we're gonna put some Jimmy's Italian sausage. And keep in mind, folks, I bought all these ingredients from Jimmy's. Um, the sausage, the sauce, the cheeses, the ricotta, everything. So we're gonna go ahead and spread that on there like so. And now we're gonna go ahead and put the mozzarella on there. Mozzarella? Mozzarella. I had this for the first time at uh, Jimmy's. I'm, I'm sorry, not at Jimmy's. At uh, Carmine's, Carmine's Pizza in Brooklyn. Uh, it was really good. All right. Now we put the mozzarella on top. Be generous. If you like cheese, it's be generous. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and fold this over like so and then press down on it. You see the foil that I have here? It's gonna kind of protect it from going through the screen. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do the pizza part, the margarita pizza part. Put on some sauce right here. Spread that around. This is some good tomato right here. It's going to make a nice margarita pizza. And now I'm going to go ahead and pull off some of these leaves. My wife's not standing around. <laughs> I'm going to pull off some of these leaves off this basil. How did plant. you want to take them off that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. She wants me to cut the stem and all this. It's in there. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and put the fresh basil down. And then we got some fresh mozzarella that I bought from Jimmy's. So we're going to pinch pieces off of that and just spread it around. Nothing like fresh mozzarella. Now that's a pizza. Look at that. Beautiful. Very nice. There we go. All right. It's ready for the oven. Well, let's get it in there. <laughs> All right. Oven's ready. I got it on 550 degrees. Now we're going to go ahead and bake this. In the oven. I'm putting it on the bottom rack so this way it cooks on the bottom really well. Okay. All right. Oh. Now we're going to make a New York style pizza using all the ingredients from uh, Jimmy's Deli or food store. Now I'm going to go ahead and flour both sides of this dough. It makes it a lot easier to manage. All right, stretch it out a little bit. Okay, now we'll go ahead and stretch it out. Watch it. Green. This is going to be your basic New York style cheese pizza right here. I'll tell you what, if this dough is anything that they say it is, I may not make dough again. It looks good. It's cooking up great over here. Is it? Good. Look at that, man. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. 
spread love. And now we're gonna put on some oregano. Sprinkle some oregano on there. And then I got some whole milk mozzarella blended with provolone. This we got from Jimmy's as well. Gonna have it spread out this cheese all the way to the very end of the crust. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and just pour a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on there. And that is ready for the oven. Come check out this pizza calzone. Oh, it's coming out really well. I'm just gonna put it on top for just a minute more so that calzone gets a little brown and then we'll be ready to eat. Pizza's ready, but we're gonna go ahead and throw in this New York style and see how Jimmy's ingredients pan out. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Looks calzone pizza. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and slice this up. Let me, uh, Get my pizza cutter here. I'll just cut around the calzone first. Oh, you can hear that crunch. Oh yeah, nice and crunchy. Yeah. All right, now we'll go ahead and slice this pizza up. What are you guys using today? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Nice, so now we'll cut up this calzone. Beautiful. Oh, sorry, take a shot of that. Look at that cheese right there. Oh, beautiful. Special. All right, there it is. The calzone margarita hybrid. Let's eat. All right, pizza's ready. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Oh man, look at that pizza. Man, I think that dough works out really well. Look at that pizza. You hear the crunch? Oh man. This dough passes the Simonetti test. The Brooklyn Brothers test. Listen to that crunch. Wow, cheese is melted perfectly. Oh man, all right, let's dig into this baby. All right, let's test it out. Tony, zoom in on this right over here. That looks calzone really good. pizza. Look at that calzone right there. Oh man. Beautiful. Nice. Dominic, dig in. Looks good. We're gonna try the, the pizza portion of it first. I lost some cheese there. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you burn your tongue. <laughs> man, this stuff is hot. What do you think? Good. How's, how's Jimmy's dough? It's good. Not bad. Mmm. Wow. Pleasantly surprised. This is really good dough. You need to get down to Jimmy's. If you can't make uh, your own pizza dough or don't want to make it, this stuff works really, really well. Anyway. Thanks for watching. We do appreciate the subscribers, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye now.